And I wished a very exciting wish. I wished that I should conduct a whole operetta written by myself at that theatre under Veen. And then? They would run for two years. They're very exciting wishes. Oh, Greta. I sometimes wonder whether anyone besides you will ever listen to my music. Oh, Rudy. One day, the whole world will listen to your music. And your wishes. Were they exciting too? Only to me. Tell me. No. Go on. All right, then. Only I used up all my blossoms on one wish to make it certain. I wish that I would grow up quickly. Why? Don't you like being 15? Why well, would if you were 15? <laughs> I'm not. I know, and by the time I'm ready for you, you'll be past it. Oh, thank you. Well, you'll have found someone else. Well, I haven't yet. Except, of course, her. Her? Yes, her. You must have met her, haven't you? What's she like? Oh, she's, um... She's very polished. She would be. And she has flashing white teeth. Do you love her very much? I adore her. She's all I've got. What's the matter? Go away. Why are you crying? I'm not crying. What's it got to do with you anyway? You've got your beastly polished lady with her white teeth. But she isn't a lady. Oh, that's worse. I'm so miserable. Enter, Gratty. You must know who I meant. Fraulein Keys. I don't care what her name is. Fraulein Keys. My piano. Your piano? Oh, Rudy. <laughs> of course. She's polished and has white teeth. My piano! Rudy, what's the matter? My piano is gone! Your way can't be so! Well, I must get in, I'll go round to the front door. Oh, Rudy! Rudy! You'll find it! They just moved it somewhere! My piano! She's done this to me! And it might have rained! She said she would. Hattie heard her. If I didn't take her seriously, I mean, what's six months' rent compared with my piano and it might have rained? You're not going to play out. Well, of course I am. I must see if she's all right. You wake everyone up. I don't care if I wake up everyone in the whole world. Is she all right? Yes. Well, perhaps she likes staying out all night. And here is your waltz. No, your waltz. That thousand kronen only gives me the exclusive right to sing it. Then it will be published, and you will make lots and lots of money. I have several more here. <laughs> <laughs> what, there's enough in the basket for a, a whole operetta. That's my next. Vienna needs a new composer. Yes, yes. yes. me. Oh, what oh. terrible conceit. No, it's not conceit, it's knowledge. I'm like that too. No one can tell me when I sing well or badly. I know. Well, why are you looking so worried? Uh, well, you see, it's very important that I get a message to Sholmai, but... Greta! This is my little friend, Greta Schoen. Greta, do you know who that is? It's Maria Siegler. Greta. Run to Shoma. Give him the message. Tell him that your Aunt Liesel has changed her mind and she is not going to sell the piano. I can now pay her the rent I owe. But 
Maria Ziegler gave you the money. No. Nobody gave me the money. I earned it. With my music. Oh, that's all right, then. I'll get Shoma before he starts out. Oh, Rudy, your wish. It started. What a charming girl. Is she a relation? No. She's just a friend. She, she wants to marry me. She will one day if I'm not careful. Uh, <laughs> breakfast! Oh. Maria! Breakfast! Well, there's no room for me. There should be. This was my idea. Maria, please, have my chair. We thought you'd forgotten. How did you get here? By the dawn boat. Hey, Cleb, I want you to join us. Oh, no, thank you. Uh, uh, the sight of all that money has quite taken my appetite away. I'll pay for you while you eat. Please go on. Not unless you sing for us. No. Oh, yes, it's too early in the morning. Oh, oh, for you. Oh, please. All right, then. <laughs> If you like that. Oh. Carriage is at the door. He'll be back soon. Come on, dry your eyes. Greta? Oh, Rudy, you've come back. He didn't forget. Forget? I thought I wasn't going to see you again. I wanted to die. Oh, Rudy, you're all I've got. You will wait for me, won't you? Dear child. <laughs> Don't you realize you're all I've got? Child, there you are, you see. That's all I am to you. But I shan't always be. Promise. What? Promise you'll never ask her or, or anyone to marry you until you've seen if I'm good enough. Good enough? But I may grow up awful, and, and if I do, you can say you're awful now. You used not to be. But give me a chance. <laughs> no, don't laugh. I really mean this. Promise. I promise. Not with a smile. Look at me and say it. Greta Sean, I promise never to ask anyone to marry me. Until I've given you. Go on. Until I've given you. The first refusal. The first refusal. 
And you'll never tell a soul in the world? Not if you don't want me to, no. No, I don't. Oh, I feel safe. Um, I must go now. Yes. I'll be back. When? Soon. Go on. You mustn't keep them waiting. No. I'd like to. They've kept me waiting for years. You should know by now that I agree with you. Maria, will you be honest with me? Are you in love with me? And, and when I say love, I'm, I, mean, I mean love, not something quick and furtive that means nothing, because if it's that, then we might just as well say goodbye now. Goodbye? Yes. Something... something strange and beautiful has, has happened, and I... Oh, I, I don't know if I can explain it. You and my music have become one. And I love and respect my music. Therefore, I must learn to love and respect you. And love and respect are enduring things. But that's what I want, enduring things. You do? That's why I knew the moment I saw you that it was important. Something I'd been waiting for, someone I could help and put before myself. I'm appallingly selfish, no. but not with you. With you, I only want to give. When I was young, my foolish fancies used to make a great mistake. But now a little love, a little living has changed my ways and torn This moment of pure happiness and catch it in midair and hold it and say, 
This is for always. <laughs> Maria. You've come back. Yes. I didn't think you would. I didn't at first, but then I realized you must be just as unhappy as I was, so I came back. To tell me I'm a liar and a cheat? No. If you are those things, you must know that for yourself. I came back because I heard you say to Charles in there that this was real. And how do you know that wasn't a lie, too? I don't know how I know. Unless it's because I'm a musician and I can hear one and notice faults. There was no false note in your voice. Rudy, I'm going to say this to you now, once, and then never again. It has meant nothing to me since I met you. He came here last night to ask me to marry him or to say goodbye. We said goodbye. That's the absolute truth. Do you believe me? Yes. Most times, when women cry, their eyes get dull and small with tears. Yours are larger than ever. Very soft and very sweet. And you won't ever I shall believe... never think of anything but this very moment. Yesterday is unimportant because it is yesterday. This is today. Page of that gavotte. Have you got it there? No. But I have something else I'd like you to try. What is it? Oh, it's just something I read last night. A new waltz? No. No, it's not a waltz. It's uh, yes. It's a um, simple little tune. See if you like it. It's dedicated to me. They're all dedicated to you. This one is. Especially dedicated to you. Oh, Rudy, your writing is terrible. I can't read it. You read it for me. I don't want to spoil it. My dearest dear. If I could say to you, your words is clear. We were just, um... Practicing? Yes. <clears throat> I know. I shouldn't have come in this way at all. I... Actually, it isn't the front entrance. Rudy! Really... Greta? It's darling Greta! Maria! It's little Greta! 
Not so little. You're Maria Ziegler, aren't you? I remember you. And you're the little girl who crawled from under the piano. Well, I... I, I can't think what to say. I'm so ashamed I didn't recognize you. No, you didn't. But what's happened? You... You've grown quite lovely. She's lovely, isn't she, Maria? Yes. I expect it's the clothes. I'm still the same. Oh, Rudy, how thoughtless we are. After that long journey, you must be longing for a bath. Oh, thank you, no. I can't wait to see Hattie. Yes, of course, Hattie. Hattie. H oh, yes, Hattie. Excuse me. Hattie! Rudy. Oh. I can't see to the rest of her luggage. I was trying to think why it was that I didn't recognize you. And now I know. It's the hair. It goes up instead of down. Oh, Rudy, thank you for sending Franzel to meet me. He's my best friend. I recognized him from all those years ago. I'd have come myself. But... I know the gala. Oh, I've written a new waltz, which you are going to dance. Is it a lovely tune? Oh, I think so. But then again, I would, wouldn't I? I can't wait to hear oh, it. Oh, there so you are. So you shout as soon as it's you get world. to? Well, it makes it a little bit more difficult than you think you never could be. I think it's very difficult to get mumps when you've already got mumps. Mumps are what children get. No, that doesn't make them any less painful. Greta, I'm years older than you, and I'm, I'm not quite the same person you knew. You mean you're rich now instead of poor, famous instead of unknown? No, those things are unimportant. There are other things. Shall we take the other things for granted? I don't think I could bear to hear you talk of other things. Oh, poor Rudy. It's difficult for you, isn't it? It mustn't be. I know all about everything, and I'm going to be extremely sensible. I just want you to do one thing for me. I want you to keep your vow, the one you made to stop me from crying. It's all right. You needn't have any fear about my answer. It's just that I want to be able to say, he did ask me. Of course, I refused, but he did ask me. And I thought you hadn't grown up. Perhaps I haven't. Perhaps this is my last fling of childishness. And you really want me to do this? Yes. What do you want me to say? What you would say if you cared. Oh. If I cared in that way, I'd say. I'd say, darling Greta, you know everything about me that there is to know. I'm years older than you. I'm dreadfully selfish, incurably ambitious, a supreme egoist. In fact, altogether the last person in the world that you should marry. But in spite of all that, I'm asking, will you? What was that? What? I, I didn't hear anything. I'm waiting. Oh, poor Rudy. Would it be awful for you if I said yes? Oh, Greta, you wouldn't, would you? No. That's the first thing you said that makes me know you're just the same. Oh, Rudy, you won't ever laugh at me about this, will you? And you won't ever tell Maria, even when you're married. You're going to be married, aren't you? Yes. Yes, we are going to be. And do you know, you're the reason we haven't been. My promise to you has always stopped me. But I was important to you. Important? Don't you realize? You were the first person who ever believed in my music. I'll always remember that. And when I'm famous, people will say, yes, and you know she turned down Rudy Kleber. You won't mind if I boast a little, will you? Good night, dear Rudy. I hope I won't disgrace you at the gala tomorrow. Oh, I don't think that's likely, not. Not after what I've had tonight. Good night. <laughs> God bless you for being so completely understanding. Grey hairs. I've never noticed them before. <laughs> they weren't there five minutes ago. Greta, 
Try. Now, try and be nice to Franzel, will you please? I shall be angelic to Franzel. I can afford to be now. Rudy, thank you for giving me the first refusal. to find my way out of this place. Yes, madam. Ah, oh, there you are, Maria. You aren't leaving already. We're all looking forward to your song. I've had a very busy day. So busy that you couldn't even come to rehearsal. Oh, so that's what's upsetting you. No, no, not that. I wanted to explain something to you. About the song? No, Maria, I must talk to you alone. I don't think there's anything you can say to me alone that cannot be said in public. Maria, what's upset you? Oh, you're just overtired. No, I'm not tired, Cassiel. I have some marvellous news for you. Congratulations, Rudy. I wish you and Greta every happiness. That's my news, Cassiel. Rudy has asked Greta to marry him, and she has accepted. This is a terrible misunderstanding. Misunderstanding? But you did ask her to marry him. In a way, yes. Luckily, or unluckily, I overheard you. If you'd waited, you would have heard Greta refuse. Yes, Maria, refuse. Rudy asked me to marry him because he gave me his word that he would, and he kept his word just to please me. But now won't you forget all about it? It was nothing, just a childish joke. Childish joke. I don't think I'm very good at childish jokes. Maria, I saw you. That's all it was. I nearly went mad last night wondering where you were. And today, no word from you. You could have trusted me. Oh, don't look so tragic. It's all all right now, isn't it? Rudy, when I ran away from you last night, I ran to where I knew I should find comfort, security, and faithfulness. My whole world has crumbled about me. I've loved you so much. I tried to explain to you the song I wrote. I asked you to wait. That's what it meant. Don't, Rudy, please. I married Charles Metterling this morning. What did you say? I married Charles Metterling this morning. No. That's what I meant by faithfulness. Security. Rudy? So is my whole world. My music too. And now that doesn't seem to matter. You've still got that part of her. Nothing can take that away. And you won't let people pity you, will you? Pity me? No. Near them all now. You heard about Rudy and Maria? She's left him. What's he going to do now? Poor Rudy, no. No, my God. Oh, no, they won't pity me. What's that dirt they're playing? I didn't write that as a funeral march. I wrote that as a waltz. A happy waltz. Now then. Take your time from me. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. <laughs>
Oh. Am I? Oh. It's this place. Gives me the shivers. Memories? Yes. Yes, of lockers as it was. What was it? Nearly 13 years ago. Do you remember it then, Francis? <laughs> Oscar tells me my friends can't afford to come here anymore. Dear old Oscar. When is the time he's poured me into a cab at dawn? People don't know how to get drunk these days. You should see New York. Rudy, we must take him with us when we go. I may not be going back to New York. Rudy, why stay in a place that's so full of ghosts? Perhaps that's the point. Ghosts are unhappy people. If I stay, perhaps I can make them less unhappy. Do take me with you to America. I'm sick of trying to sell cars that won't go to people that can't pay. In what capacity would you go to America? As her husband. Indeed. And what have you to offer me? Six good suits and a beautiful nature. <laughs> Any money? Certainly not. Don't be vulgar, have you? Pots. Thank the Lord for that. <laughs> if you'd have said you were poor but honest, I'd have cried off. Well, is it on? I can't say yet. I shall have to ask Rudy, see what he thinks. Oh, of course. Oh, go and dance. Go on. Go and dance. You know you're dying to. Are you sure you don't mind? Why should I mind? They're playing one of my waltzes. Come on, Franza. It's your usual place, Highness. If I'd known you were coming, I'd have had your favorite roses on the table. Oh, thank you, Oscar. May we expect His Excellency? No, I'm afraid not. Affairs of state, you know. Can I order for you? Not yet. I'll call you when I'm ready. Then let me show you to your table. Thank you. You, I think. No, mine. It was written for me. By whom? By someone I hoped I'd forgotten. <laughs> someone who hoped he'd forgotten you. <laughs> How wrong we both were. <laughs> I can't get over it. My first night in Vienna after nearly 13 years, I come as a lockers in New York. And I haven't been here for months either. Strange, isn't it? I'd have known you anywhere. Oh, well, I wouldn't have known you. So sleek and well-dressed and confident. I feel sure that jacket is not tight and uncomfortable. No, no. And the whole suit is entirely mine, although it's not yet paid. That's because you're rich. Only the poor pay cash. I'm right, aren't I? You are rich. I've been lucky. A prolific. A clever operator a year. Stick to your money, Woody. It's important. I never knew how important. I suppose you know we are very little now. You still have your voice. Oh, which I seldom use. Pity. Yes, silly, isn't it? I've written to you several times. I never received any letters. That's because I never posted them. The best letters are seldom posted. Apparently not. You never married, did you? Oh, no, of course not, I I should have heard. And what about Greta? She's over there. Dancing with Franz. And she's now one of the biggest stars of musical comedy in America. How are things with you? Oh, I lead a very interesting life. I have my official duties. I'm kept very busy. I... I don't really have much time to think. I haven't asked you the most important question of the morning. Does that matter? Oh, that song. Yes, that song. I know it by.
my heart even now, every word, every note. My dearest dear, if I could say to you in words as clear as when I play to you, you'd understand. <laughs> You must stop being unhappy. Come back to me. It isn't too late. I'm not talking madness. Your marriage to Charles was based on a misunderstanding between you and I. If he realizes that he'll let you go, he must let you go. Oh, but it's over 12 years ago, Rudy. You can't brush aside all those years just like that. I must go on. Why? Look at me. Can you honestly tell me you've had one moment of happiness since we parted? You see, you can't. For all these years, you've been trying to be someone else. What's the result? You're unhappy and defeated, we both are. And you? Utterly. But I thought... Don't let's pretend. Maria. Maria. We can still have the future. What's it going to be? Completely happy or utterly wretched. It's for you to decide. No, Rudy, it's for you to decide. For me? Then I've decided. Here, not tonight. No, not tonight. A week from now, I shall come to you wherever you say. You shall tell me what I must do. I don't see what difference a week's going to make. Perhaps nothing. Perhaps everything. I must go. A week from now. Where? I leave that to you. I know where. Send me where. Not tonight. A week from now. Maria, stay there just a moment. It's all right. I wanted to be sure I hadn't seen a ghost. No. I was just terrified in case you hadn't received my letter. Of course I did. And even before I'd opened it, I knew it would be here. You'd choose. Was it difficult to get away? Oh, no, 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 not really. I simply said I was tired and needed the country air. Charles agreed I was looking pale and tired. So I am. You're looking lovely. <laughs> well, I shouldn't be. I haven't slept too well since that night at Lochas a week ago. Maria. Why did you say it would be for me to decide? It still is. I don't understand. You're here. Yes. But I didn't come alone. Not alone? No. I do hope you won't think I've taken an unfair advantage of you. You see, I have someone else to consider. Someone else? Yes. Now go and say how do you do, nicely. How do you do, sir? How do you do? My name's Carl Metterling. Mine's Rudy really Kleber. Is that short for Rudolph? Yes, I believe it is. I'm sometimes called Carlo, but that's not short for Carl. In fact, it's longer. My mother calls me Carlo. Don't you, Mama? Hey, Kleber writes some of the music you've heard me sing. I should like to write music, but I think it must be very difficult. No, not a bit. Is it anything like typewriting? Not quite. Charles gave him a typewriter for Christmas. He drives us mad with it. How old are you, Carl? Nearly 13. I see. Mama. Was it true about the coffee crumb, or were you making that oh, up? Oh, no, I wasn't making that up. If you go in there and say that you are Maria Ziegler's son, a very nice old lady will give you by far the best coffee cream you've ever had. Shall I see you again, sir? 
I hope so. I hope so, too. I wanted you to see him. Maria does tell us now. Yes, he knew from the first. He must love you very much. He does. And you? I'm grateful. Is that enough, Maria? Why didn't you tell me? I tried to that night. Right. Rudy, are you still asking me to go away with you? It would mean a clean break. The boy, too. Charles loves him as if he were his own son. The world, too, takes it for granted that he is. They're devoted to each other. It's a happy little world for him. I don't think we can break that little world of his to pieces. Maria. Is it any joy to you to know that he is mine. Infinite joy. Talk to him of me sometimes. Play him some of my music, perhaps. Then if we ever meet, we shan't quite be strangers. No, Maria, there is, uh, there's so little time and there are so many things I have to say, but I'm going to tell you something that I want you to remember for always. I love you. And only you. You have always been the color and the magic in my life and nothing can ever take that away. We are going to see Great changes, I know. I feel it. There is so much unrest and unhappiness in the world. We shall almost forget to smile and make music, but we shan't quite forget. And one day we'll wake as if from an evil dream and forget to hate. And the world will smile again and the sweetness of music and friendship will once more be important. Keep me in your heart, as I will keep you in mine. I shan't even be unhappy now that I know we have something we can share. Mama! I'm here, Carl. <clears throat> Look, Mama, she gave me all these lovely cakes. Can I take them back to school? She said it would be all right. Did you thank her properly? Yes. I actually kissed her, but she didn't mind. Will you be coming back with us to Vienna, sir? No, I'm afraid I shan't be going back to Vienna. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, I'm sorry too, Carlo. Oh, forgive me, I should say Carl. Oh, no, please. Carlo, it's much more friendly. Yes, it's much more friendly. Now say goodbye to Herr Kleber, then go and sit in the car and wait for me. Huh? Goodbye, sir. Goodbye, Carlo. I will always remember our meeting. I hope I did right in bringing him to you. Yes. We won't say goodbye, will we? I don't think I could. But do something for me. Go and sit at the piano where I first saw you. Long, long before you saw me. And play for me.